Okay, so here is another question that um, I would like to discuss with all of you. Okay, so it mentioned in this question, the cross-sectional area of a channel can be computed as, given here, the integral of hy dy, which is the cross-sectional area is represented as AC, where B is the total channel width M. So given here B, the total channel width, which is this one, all right? H is the depth in meter, and Y is the distance from the bank, meter. In a similar fashion, the average flow Q also can be computed as this integral in which U times H, where U in this equation is the water velocity. Use this relationship and a numerical method to determine AC and Q for the following data. So AC in this case is just the integral of H dy, meaning you just integrate these uh, two sets of data only. And for this, uh, the, the flow rate, Q, you need to do the integral of U times H. So what you have to do, you need to create another column here, U times H. And how to get the data? You just multiply the value of 0 0.5. So this one is 0 0.5 times 0 0.03. And for this one, it's 1.3 times 0 0.06, and so on and so on, okay? You just need to multiply these two data together, and you'll get the value, okay? So you have your Y, and you have your H, and you have your U. This is in the question. And this one is, you just calculated yourself for the UH to calculate for the flow rate Q. So for the first one, in order for you to calculate AC, which is this one, you just need to integrate H over dy. And then the, the limit is from 0 to, uh, to B, which is in this case to 9, from 0 to 9, all right? So 0 to B here is 9. So when you look at the data here, you need to check the spacing between them, the H. So the first, the second, the third, the H is 2, it's the same. And for this, H is 1. And for this, is H is 3. So in this case, you can use any method because it's not stated in the question to use which method. So I'm going to go for 1 over 3, 1 over 3, and trapezoidal rule. So it's just a matter of plugging in all those values into this equation. So for the first one over three between zero and four, this is what you should do. You just look at these two parts only, all right? For the first one, which is AC. So 0 0.5 for the first one, plus four, the middle one, plus 1.25. And the next one is 1 over 3, 4, between 4, 5, 6. So between this. Oops. Okay. So you will get this one. And this is the trapezoidal rule. The last two data. The last two data here is this. So you do your calculation and you will get your answer. And for the second part, to calculate the flow rate is, you look at the question again. You need to integrate from 0 to 9 the u h over y. Okay, so you need to integrate this column and this column in using the same method, which is 1 over 3, 1 over 3, and trapezoidal rule. You just use different sets of value for the u uh, h. Okay, so you plug in all these values into the 1 over 3, 1 over 3, and trapezoidal. You do your calculation and you will get this answer. Thank you.